Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O along with this uh, chord AB. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, CP is perpendicular to this chord AB. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment uh, CP length is 8 units. And furthermore, this segment uh, AP length is 4 units. And the segment uh, BP length is 44 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have extended uh, this segment uh, CP all the way to this point uh, D. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, chord uh, CD. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to label uh, this segment uh, PD length uh, as uh, X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. And now let's recall the intersecting chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, then the products uh, of the majors of the segments uh, of the chords are equal, as you can see in this given diagram. Here we can see we got these uh, two chords uh, AC and uh, BD and they intersect each other at this point. And as a result we are ended up with these uh, segments uh, A, B, C and D respectively such that uh, A times B equals to C times D. And now we are going to apply this uh, intersecting chords theorem on this given problem. And here we can see we got these two chords uh, a, B and uh, C, D and they intersect each other at this point P and as a result we ended up with these uh, segments uh, 4, 44, uh, 8 uh, and uh, X. So therefore we are going to multiply 8 times uh, X must be equal to 4 times uh, 44. So let me write down uh, 8 times uh, X equal to 4 times uh, 44. So therefore we ended up with uh, 8x uh, equal to 176. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 8 to isolate x. This 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 22 units. So therefore our this segment uh, PD length which is represented by x turns out to be 22 units. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to label uh, this segment AP as lowercase a, this uh, BP segment as lowercase b, this CP segment as uh, lowercase c, and this PD length as uh, lowercase d. And now we are going to use this uh, magic formula for r square equals to a square plus b square plus c square plus uh, d square as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see we got these uh, two chords uh, they are perpendicular to each other and as a result uh, this uh, segment is uh, lowercase a this segment is lowercase b this segment is lowercase uh, c and finally this segment is lowercase d so therefore we can see our lowercase a value is 4 lowercase b value is 44, c value is 8 and finally d value is 22. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So 4 times our radius uh, r square is going to be equal to our a value is 4 square plus b value is 44 square plus c value is 8 square plus d value is 22 square. And in this uh, next step, 4 square is 16, 44 square is uh, 1936, 8 square is 64, and finally 22 square is 484. 
So therefore, for radius r square is going to be equal to, if we add uh, all these right hand side numbers, that is going to give us uh, 2500. And now we are going to divide both sides by 4 to isolate r square. So therefore, r square value simply turns out to be 625. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, we could see that our uh, radius uh, lowercase r value is going to be 25 uh, units. So thus our radius uh, value turns out to be 25 units by using the very first method. And now I am going to share with you the second method as well. And here in first step, I have dropped this perpendicular uh, OE on this code uh, AB. And likewise, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, OF on this code uh, CD as well. And now we can see that this whole uh, code AB length is going to be 4 plus 44 is to, going to give us uh, 48. And likewise, uh, this whole code uh, CD length is going to be equal to 8 plus 22 is going to give us uh, 30. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. So no wonder uh, this perpendicular uh, OE bisects uh, this chord AB into two segments. This segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this segment uh, BE. And we know the whole AB segment is uh, 48. So therefore, uh, this uh, AE segment is going to be half of that one, 24. And likewise, uh, BE segment is uh, 24 as well. And likewise, uh, this perpendicular OF is going to bisect this code uh, CD as well. So therefore, this segment uh, CF is going to be equal to this segment uh, DF. And we know this whole CD segment is 30. So therefore, uh, CF segment is going to be half of 30 is going to be 15. And this uh, DF segment is going to be 15 as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AE segment length uh, is uh, 24. And this tiny AP segment is uh, 4. So therefore, uh, this remaining segment uh, PE length is going to be 24 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 20 units. And now we can see this uh, OF segment uh, is equal to this uh, PE segment. This is 20. So therefore, OF segment uh, is going to be 20 as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect this uh, center O with this uh, point T. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we can see this uh, OD is the radius of this circle. I am going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now our task is to find the value of this radius lowercase r. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle DFO whose uh, side lengths are uh, 20, 15 and this uh, hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the well-known Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4 and 5. And now I'm going to multiply by 5 uh, across the board. And as a result, our new set of Pythagorean triplets turns out to be 5 times 3 is going to give us 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and 5 times 5 is 25. And now we can see we have been given 15 and 20. So therefore, our radius lowercase r value is going to be equal to 25. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, uh, our radius uh, turns out to be 25 units by using the both uh, methods. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.